Welcome back, this is Tredius with another episode of the LA Rams franchise. We are coming uh, from our first season win against the Detroit Lions. We beat them in a rather exciting game. Um, we managed to take the win in a, a pretty spectacular fashion in overtime, 23-17. Uh, it was very hard fought, but uh, very well deserved. So now we are at one and six, which is super positive. I do want to continue this trend now uh, into week eight, where we're facing the Houston Texans. The Texans uh, have uh, drafted very well in this uh, new, in this uh, draft period. Um, and uh, let's just take a quick look what they're looking like right now. Um, one thing that's funny, of course, is uh, Colin Kaepernick has been uh, picked up in free agency here. Usually their quarterback would be Davis Mills. However, I do understand that the CPU is not going to rely on uh, a 68 overall quarterback uh, to be the starting quarterback. Um, halfback is Marla Mack, Sony Michel. Um, he was picked up in free agency now. He joined the Texans only recently, a few days ago. Um, and is now uh, is now with the Houston Texans facing his former team. Fullback is Andy Janovic, uh, one of the fullbacks that I like to utilize when I play. Uh, the wide receiver core is actually pretty interesting. We've got Brandon Cooks in there. Uh, he's a star dev, 27 years old, 88 overall. Actually not looking that spectacular, but his attributes are really, really good. So a uh, 17th ranked wide receiver, uh, have to be wary of that. Uh, next wide receiver, nobody uh, less than Antonio Brown, who was uh, let go from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last season. And now he's with the Texans. Um, number 19 ranked wide receiver, look at all those stats. He is He's really dangerous still. And apart from his mental issues on the field, he's really good. Um, then John Mechie, uh, the third, he's a rookie. He was picked up in uh, the 2022 draft. A 77 overall already. Uh, he'll only go up. He's very fast, good agility. So uh, yeah, let's let's be wary of that. And then we've got two backup wide receivers, I would say. It's Deshaun Hamilton and Nico Collins. Um, for the moment, these are definitely the backups. Tight end is Previn Jordan, Farrow Brown, and Jeff Driscoll. So we're going to be facing Previn Jordan at tight end here. He's 21 years old and looking not too dangerous at a 71 overall. But again, uh, if you go into his uh, stats, you can see that he's he's very well uh, well rounded, especially in the attributes that are necessary for for a good tight end. Left tackle Laramie Tunsil and Sam Tevi, and that's okay. Left guard, we've got Titus Howard and Lane Taylor. Uh, center is Justin Britt and Jimmy Morrissey. So uh, comparing to left tackle and left guard, who's a 73, uh, center is a 73, right guard is a 75. And uh, they drafted Kenyon Green in the 2022 draft, the uh, rookie. And already number 31 ranked right guard. Uh, just looking at all of these uh, block uh, attributes and his strength uh, he will be definitely uh, in there in the future for the for the moment it's AJ Cam at a 75 overall right tackle Dennis Kelly is injured Michael Schofield is injured Isaiah Wilson is injured so at the moment we're going to be facing Charlie Heck unless uh, the uh, CPU decides to rotate a little bit left edge Jonathan Greenert and Derek Rivers uh, these these are uh, okay uh, edges I would say um, but still not to be underestimated I noticed that in my uh, realistic uh, rebuild of the Texans that I did with uh, Baker Mayfield in a fictional switch from the uh, Cleveland Browns uh, and uh, this team is young and uh, develops very quickly very nicely so uh, really interesting to follow along right edge Jerry Hughes Jr. and Roshim Green so uh, Jerry Hughes uh, the veteran will be who we're facing D tackle is Malik Collins and Mike Pennell both not too highly rated but uh, again not to be underestimated due to the uh, crucial attributes Ross Blacklock and Roy Lopez are the backups here 
left outside linebacker David Mayo, Blake Lynch. This is a position not very, very dangerous. Uh, mid linebacker Josh Obert, Jalen Reeves, Maben, and Bryce Hager. Again, not too high in overall, but still, uh, still not to be underestimated. Uh, Kemu Cruiser Hill is the starter at right outside linebacker, but he is uh, injured, so we'll be facing Blake Cashman, who only recently uh, switched to the uh, Houston Texans from the New York Jets. Corners are Desmond King the second, Steven Nelson, Jalen Mills. These three were there before and now uh, Derek Stingley has been added uh, to the cornerback core. Uh, he is a very, very good corner. Uh, just look at the speed, acceleration, jumping, already very good stats and uh, man coverage, press and catching almost into uh, the, the green areas uh, as well. So overall, uh, he's young, but a prospect for the future right there. And uh, finally, we've got Reggie Robinson. We will be facing Desmond King and Stephen Nelson for sure. Uh, free safety, Jalen Petra um, and Jonathan Owens. Jalen Petra also uh, picked up in this draft. Um, he's out of Baylor. High speed, good coverage, good tackle, good pursuit, hit power, acceleration. We're all already pretty high um, for a 22-year-old rookie. Again, uh, we'll have to be wary of that. Adrian Phillips and Lane Hill are the strong safeties. Kicker is Kaimi Fairbairn and Michael Pallardi is the punter. So a team that uh, we will have to uh, really uh, take serious. I do want to build on our first win here. Um, let us uh, just take a quick look at uh, the uh, prospects uh, in a mock draft. What I did is I uh, went ahead and uh, all right, no mock drafts. Um, I thought it said that it uh, already completed one. I loaded in uh, the 2023 uh, draft file with all of the real uh, rookies in there and the draft prospects. Um, so we will be taking a look at these. I can really imagine going for a quarterback maybe um, to, to have as a backup for uh, Matt Stafford, um, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, the highest ranked ones. Um, we will be keeping an eye on all of these prospects, but uh, for the moment we are not anywhere near the first round, so we might have to start looking uh, towards the uh, second round picks. Okay. So far, so good. Let's head into weekly strategy. Um, nothing more to do in this week. Um, I think we will be going for short passing, maybe, as that's his uh, strongest area. Uh, let's just see medium completion. Uh, short passing is short attempts and completions. Pass rating is pretty low, actually. But these are even lower. Uh, I do think we'll, we'll try and limit the short passing um, as they have gone for these uh, the most. Um, our offense is uh, fully fit, so uh, let's just go for the splits here uh, to improve experience without uh, putting too much uh, pressure on fitness. Let's head on to the offensive game plan. What is the suggestion? So blitz counter is the suggestion. All right, looking at the corners and right edges, Jerry Hughes. Ah, not really happy with the blitz counter here. I think I'll go for the short passing. This is simply, I think this is our, our strong point and uh, we'll have to focus on, uh, focus on that. Again, we're going for full uh, intensity, but with splits again, Okay, 99 health is actually pretty good. Our weekly game plan overall will be well, one interception. That should be doable. Uh, don't allow a pass touchdown. No, we're not going to be doing that. We will go for first two plus turnovers. I think that's realistic for our defense. On offense, we will go for rush 150 yards. And I will be going for the 450 yards on offense. I think that should work. 
as we also have this mid tier uh, with two points that we were that we're getting for 200 uh, yards reached okay ernest jones one of the players i am improving terrell burgess and logan bruss i have put another player in front of logan so uh I will be looking for uh, maybe another player to improve. Um, everybody looking good here, actually. Maybe Jonah Williams, but he's already pretty high. Taylor Rapp, Jefferson. Let's look for a young player. Maybe Jordan Fuller could use some extra training here. Let's go. I want to push him into the 80s. <clears throat> that should uh, help us. And as always, just no injuries. Everybody has gone up a little bit. All right, defense looking good. What about offense? Okay, don't need a moral dampening blow to offense now that we've finally picked up our first win. Let's do the player upgrades. All right, only two Chandler Brewer, our backup right tackle putting Agile on him so that uh, he will become a scheme fit quicker and Joseph Noteboom also Agile 70 overall now at an age of 26 yeah he's my backup and he'll stay the backup for the foreseeable future before jumping into the game let's take a look at our lineup because I actually had an idea. I was looking at the um, at uh, the halfback core with Cam Akers, who's my solid number one, and Daryl Henderson Jr., my solid number two. Both of these are really fantastic. Next up, we've got Jake Funk and Raymond Calais. And uh, Jake Funk is uh, actually my next up in the, in the uh, lineup of the halfbacks, but I don't think that he will be getting too much play time. Then I looked at his stats and I saw that he has a really good trucking and brake tackle, speed acceleration, a very good change of direction, strength, not too bad. We could improve that a little bit maybe, but overall I was thinking of making him my fullback. Um, I do not want to uh, lose Jake Funk. I don't want him to uh, just stick there in a, in a position behind two other young players actually. So I will be switching him to fullback and uh, that will be that. So now I have a dedicated fullback, which is which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I always like to have one player in there uh, to focus on. And apart from that, I think we are good to go. Definitely need a center. Um, and uh, next we are looking at defense. Ernest Jones, all right. What's up here? Okay, I think we'll have to just generate the best lineup quickly. Yeah, I had switched around a little bit here. And now we've got uh, Aaron Donald again. I put him at D-tackle uh, as Greg Gaines was injured, but now he's fit again. We can go back. And uh, yeah, let's put uh, David Long Jr. right there. Let's put Terry Burgess right there. Do want them to improve quicker and uh, yeah let's just drag ourselves out of this rut and uh, get get into winning the next game great gains is available nothing else to do let's go guys Okay, the game is underway. We are the first to receive. Uh, let's establish the run game and uh, not make any costly mistakes here. I will try to limit my panic throws to a minimum and uh, focus on our strengths, which at the moment uh, are the running game. Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson Jr. are just doing very, very well for us. And uh, I do really want to focus on them. I chose the short pass to just have that option, um, but uh, it's definitely our, our uh, run play that is uh, that is uh, our strong, our strong, uh, strong part of the game. Straight down the middle, we've got two, two quick, versatile, strong uh, halfbacks, and uh, 
looking very good here. Pick up the first down and uh, Cam Akers will be taking the next run here. Let's see if we can find a hole. Uh, almost did, but uh, again, it's just, uh, it always gets down to the offensive line just crumbling a bit too quick. I personally would uh, really like to to just uh, see them do a bit better. And uh, I wait for the truck right there. That worked. Had to change route and uh, pick up the first. Let's just edge our way down the field. And uh, yeah, that did not work. Um, definitely going to be looking for a center in that uh, draft class and i'd really like someone similar to um i don't know chris humphreys or uh, tyler lindebaum maybe um, that would definitely uh, be a big improvement i just need a strong center in there that can hold one or two players down um and uh i mean you can see cam Akers speed and agility right there going around a lot of players we're at third and six now, and I think I should be going for a pass play now. Just a bit, uh, just a bit wary of those. But uh, maybe we can get something going here. Alan Robinson, and uh, looking towards Tyler Higby as well. So yeah, Tyler Higby is going to pick up that first down, our big tight end, and uh, we complete our first pass for seven yards. <laughs> which is not uh, the largest uh, run play, uh, largest pass play that you're ever going to see. But it brings us the first down. And uh, Cam Akers weaving between uh, Edwards and Williams right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As uh, Blake Cashman picks up an injury. It's never nice to see an injury, but uh, anything that will help us is appreciated, actually. Um, now, Cam Akers... We'll be doing a slip screen here. Let's just hope the screen works. Nope. Does not work. Uh, defense saw through that and uh, Cam was followed all the way. Alright, let's try curl combo here. It uh, should work with uh, going for Alan Robinson. But uh, Cam Akers here. Picking up quite a few points, he was the only one that was free with uh, two yards, a fourth and two at the 38. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a pass play here. Or we go with an inside zone. Let's go with a halfback dive. Just wanna push that in here. Let's hope that we get those two yards done. And it does look like we pick up the first Yes, we do. That's very nice. Uh, let's go for the halfback stretch towards the right here. That worked well before. Fatigue is still not an issue. Uh, but everybody picking up on that uh, run here. <clears throat> halfback dive, second and ten. Let's see if we can't get an audible working here. Let's go with the quick slants. Cooper Cup and Alan Robinson, <clears throat> my focus players here. And uh, try to get it to Alan Robinson, who was really opening up very nicely. Uh, over there, Alan Robinson directly after the first down line, and Cooper Cup going for the end zone. So a bit wary here as uh, Tyler Higby picks it up. Beautiful catch here. He just had the nicest route. And uh, speaking of routes, let's just do a quick check here uh, towards the route running. Alan Robinson uh, took a bit too long on that turn there. Um, who else did we have in play? Um, so the old line is actually doing its job quite nice, but it's Tyler Higby here. And uh, that uh, pass window was absolutely perfect. I was fearing that this uh, that the defender would be jumping, but he didn't. Uh, Cooper Cup was oh ah, maybe not. I think that this is that the uh, defender would have had him. 
So uh, nice pickup. We're at the 16 yard line. And without any uh, pressure, or, or, or uh, especially looking at the clock and the time, uh, we've got no issue there. Second and seven, let's go for a zone week here. Maybe we can pick that first up. Right now, Kemakers finds the gap, picks up the first down and stopped ahead of the goal line. And I think I'll be going for the touchdown here with a halfback wham as the two minute warning hits us. Actually, I just want our defense to uh, to stop, uh, stop all the uh, run plays here, stop the opposition as uh, we try and get in the edge a little bit closer but uh, we're not yet there as uh, we go for another one and I picked up again it's just I would need that O-line to just start start producing something here let's try something different let's go for formation uh, let's go for the goal line formation and let's go for the, the fullback dive here maybe we can get in with with uh, Jake Funk just uh, pushing his way forward now we're not going to manage that I'm a bit of a burnt a burnt child here I, I don't want to risk anything um, we're at fourth and goal, one minute to go. I know I, sh I, I should go for the run play, but uh, I'm going for the uh, safe option here. Let's go with a uh, field goal. Uh, you know, from here, not much that should happen. Slightly inaccurate, but uh, still, we pick up the first points, and that's that's what we needed to do. Just get on that scoreboard. And uh, now it's uh, time for our defense to step up for Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. Wow, all right. That's great. Second quarter still. Let's see what we can do. I will be going with... Let's go with this lance here. I know that I said I'm a bit wary, but this is way far back. And uh, all I want to do is not get sacked. So, yeah, almost thrown into double coverage. That was nice. Or not. So let's go for a Y stick here. I actually just want to get the ball away. I'm not trusting anyone on that offensive line enough. And let's go for an aggressive catch here. Ah, almost Bryson Hopkins here. And, uh, yeah. What do we do? What do we do? Let's just... I'm not trusting those quick slants to really get us out there. Go with Cam Akers again. Even if we don't pick up that much. Um, in which we actually... Well, not that bad. We do pick up quite a few yards. Um, now let's just punt the ball far back uh, so that uh, the Texans have to start from... Uh, from a great distance, accurate kick. Riley Dixon actually isn't that bad of a punter. Oh my god. <laughs> Completely <laughs> missing that tackle. <laughs> okay. So uh, the Houston Texans now have improved coverage and 30 seconds to go as they pick up a uh, touchdown. These really are slog fests right now. I'm going for an audible here. We can try to maybe push up a little bit here. We've got nine seconds left, so if things go bad. Um, and uh, Alan Robinson picking up the ball. Four seconds left as uh, he takes the ball out of bounds. And uh, I will not be going for a Hail Mary. I hate those. Can never get them to work. Let's go for a PAY drag wheel again. Let's see if we can't maybe have a lucky punch here at the end of the quarter. Even if we uh, have an interception, this won't hurt us. So Tyler Higby is the target. 
and it's picked off. So, uh, yeah. We tried. Um, and now all of the momentum is gone as we're behind at the beginning of the uh, third quarter. Let's go for PA power. It's always similar. We go behind, um, just not really uh, doing enough to to go ahead. Um, but uh, then uh, we go behind, then we need to play a bit more risky. And uh, this then <laughs> opens up uh, alleys and chances for more um, for more uh, errors and then we pick those up putting Alan Robinson as the land here can't do two things at the same time which is why my why my speech was impaired so out we go here that was what I was looking for everybody was going towards the right Alan Robinson really picking up that route nicely and now uh, let's go for the mesh spot cam acres is my primary receiver here but i've uh, got a ton of options and i'll be going with whoever just opens up the quickest tell the higby again as we push forward here and uh all right nice throw here Picking up a few yards. Let's go for a jet sweep. Yeah, let's go for a jet sweep with Cooper Cup. Maybe we can get him into the far corner. As uh, Matt Stafford gives the sign, Cooper Cup snacks the ball. And it's uh, Cooper Cup. Yeah, not really picking up that first down as we are at third and two. It's not third and goal, so. Um, Let's go for a, for a run play here. I just don't feel like uh, in this uh, congested, uh, very congested area that uh, we're really in a position to uh, to use the pass plays. And we basically only need that first down as Cam Akers beautifully stretches and puts the ball into the end zone. Yeah, first half of the season, Cam Akers definitely is my go-to guy. He's, he's the one that uh, I have the most trust in, that is the least impacted by, uh, by the bad blocking um, of my uh, offensive line right there. So uh, 11 and 14, we're at, uh, we get the ball again. Our defense stops the Texans. Very nicely here. Start off with a run play. <clears throat> and the number 66, that's Jonah Williams. Not able to hold on to his opposing number. Just feels like every time we have something going for us and working, uh, the next time things go bad again. If you've got any suggestions, please just feel free. Uh, that worked quite well actually as uh, Greenard picks up an injury here for uh, the Houston Texans. We're at third and three. Let's go with a zone fake jet. Maybe we can drag some defenders over there as Cooper Cup will be repeating the motion. And, uh, Cam Akers looking for that hole and it does open up. Wow, we break a tackle. <laughs> we break those two tackles right there. Cam Akers goes through. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's just take a quick look at that again. So Cooper Cup heads over there. And uh, yeah, actually nobody's fooled. Everybody's waiting. But uh, for once number 66 here, really pushing, <laughs> pushing the defender away. That's very nice. And Cam Akers can really move past everybody. Small movement here. Uh, the two defenders block each other, but I couldn't get that curve uh, done anymore. Otherwise, it would have been through to the end zone. Very nice run here by Cam Akers. I think if I could be handing out uh, most valuable player, 
uh, awards. That'll definitely go to go to him. We're now in the fourth quarter. We've got uh, five minutes to go. I will not be uh, rushing anything. Uh, I will be picking up anything that I can, um, but uh, I will not be risking risking anything here. I just want to push towards the end zone, and uh, a field goal is enough for us to draw. And uh, a uh, touchdown will be enough for us to win the game if we manage to run down the clock enough. Second and seven here. I think let's go with the uh, zone split week here. Yeah, Cup and Robinson are my uh, decoys here. Cam Akers breaking a tackle again. Not bad actually. Third and three now. Let's go to the halfback inside zone. So far we haven't seen anything uh, from Darnell Henderson Jr. yet. But uh, not to worry. He'll get his chances. As <laughs> a lot of piling up right there. But all is good. As we push through a close zone strong here again rumply cam acres and uh finding a route for a few yards four to five five yards uh, this guy loves his mum that's nice and uh, we pick the halfback inside zone As we slowly but surely chip away at their momentum gauge. And at second and five, we've got an injury to Brian Allen. Well that's not that's not good. Our one center that is <laughs> a 68 rated. And we've got an even worse center right there. Two minutes twenty-three to go. Picking up the first down though. But yeah, all good so far. Let's just hope that we get the player back and uh, we're not going to miss out on him. Let's try zone fix. Yeah, fake jet. That's what I'm going to be doing next. All right, broke my ribs. Okay, we're going to need to look for a replacement quickly. Um, broken ribs that's usually a few weeks out and we cannot we, we just cannot uh, continue like this okay everything opening up right here um, as we enable improved coverage uh, with our momentum here 17 14 we're now ahead and i hope that our defense will manage to uh yeah to keep uh, keep them contained so let's head for the next one they're ahead by three points again okay so what do we do uh, let's see how far we're back let's go for a fake jet here but, uh, i think we're gonna have to revert to pass play pretty soon As we give the signal to Cooper Cup, the handoff is here. Yeah, and we've got an, an injury to uh, our tight end Harris. Yeah, I need to do something here. I can't go the run plays anymore. Let's go with uh, vertical, maybe. We have one minute left. Cooper Cup getting into position back there would be very nice. And Cam Akers is my backup here. Just get into position as we air it out and try to catch it. But uh, ball is dropped, shoulder strain. Let's keep Harris for the time being. I think it, let's go with this. Let's have back under focusing on Tyler Higby. But I've also got Van Jefferson in my sight. Um, as I get sacked, come on. It's always when, when I don't need it <laughs> for the stupidest sacks. 
basically we just need to get into field goal range to uh, make it into overtime Alden Robinson is my intended receiver here Cooper Cup is my backup plan let's go for an aggressive catch and he drops the ball come on Cooper I'm sitting here sh oh my god and that's it <laughs> god damn it all right well we weren't doing as bad for, for the most part but uh it hurts it hurts we did manage to rush 450 yards we managed to get around 200 yards on offense we're still not even close to our season goal we didn't get one interception and uh, jacob harris we'll get a slight improvement here i'm going for possession um yeah <laughs> bit deflated again in comparison to before the game we are at one and seven again <laughs> we are behind uh, we didn't manage to capitalize on uh, that win from last week so uh yeah bit disappointed right here um you can probably tell from my voice <laughs> Uh, let's see that we uh, pick up a win against the Titans next week. Uh, but for now, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a tight game at least and uh, maybe exciting. Um, but uh, in the end, uh, too little. And uh, this first season just uh, really is turning out to be an improvement season. Just uh, developing players a bit more. And uh, we will be uh, in dire need of rebuild uh, in the off season which I will be handling as one full off-season episode, including uh, free agency, uh, contract negotiations, and the draft. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I did, even though the results are currently a bit frustrating, um, but we will be turning that around, I'm sure of that. Uh, yeah, so drop me a like and subscribe if you like this. That always helps the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.